Hello everyone. Can you tell by my voice? I am so excited. Guess where we are? That's right. We're at Ikea and we're going to look at what's new in 2023. So follow me. By the way, if you guys are interested, I do Zoom consultations and guide you in whatever projects you may have going on. It can be as short as 15 minutes. You can get my advice. I can help with layout, colors, furniture placement, anything you need. And the link is below in my description section. So this is what I normally do. I walk through Ikea and let me tell you, I'm wearing my tennis shoes because this is going to be a long day, but I do it for you guys because I love you guys. So if you can click the plus button to follow me because that's going to really help my algorithm and it shows that you guys love love me and I love you guys back so um, let's do this I walk until I my heart stops and I see something that I haven't seen that I love and I share it with you guys so that's how it works and um, let's go Guys, I'm getting really picky this time around. I still haven't found anything that speaks to me. Let's see, let's hope it's gonna come. I think I found something. I think I did. First of all, I would remove these pillows immediately because they are doing no service to this sofa. And I'm also gonna remove this blanket that is cheapening the sofa. It's all about how you style things. So this sofa, look, this is a copy of I think the B&B Italia, I feel it. And it's a good one. It is definitely a good one. If you have a small space, a small apartment, um, a corner and a bedroom, an office, this looks very expensive. What I love is this new pillow sort of um, armrest. This is trending very hot and super high end and they've got it at Ikea. So the Aplarid, Aplarid. This is where my Swedish comes in handy. Aplarid 1229 USD. A little pricey, but worth it. Take note of this Ullerslev. Ullerslev. These are wonderful. I love them. You can either throw it on the sofa. See how much better this looks than the other stuff? Um, it just looks really expensive. And these are great to throw on chairs that are not that comfortable. Let's say in your breakfast room. You can throw one on each chair and it looks great. And I always recommend these. Guys, the Holmsta, a new item at Ikea that is Nina approved. I would only use this indoors. I think it is actually just for indoors. I feel like it's missing a cushion of some sort, but you know, it's, uh, it's not fussy. It's deep, it's got arms. And if you need that one chair in your living room, just to make a statement, this is a good one. The lighting at Ikea never disappoints. Look at this one. This is called the Sol Klint, $29 USD. And I like having them at separate heights. You would never guess these are $29. And they look great in a room similar to this with the green backdrop because it reflects the green into the glass. It's a, um, it's a good one. And remember we talked about the color of the year? Green, it's happening. And I think it looks really great, especially when you've got the molding. The faux molding is a definite yes. They keep losing me because I'm like all over the place. So look at this cute kitchen, love. I feel like I need to give birth to a toddler and take this home, but those days are over. However, hopefully they're not for you. And look at this adorable kitchen. Look how cute, $99. The Ducti, pretty cute guys. A great must have item. Nothing makes me happier than organization and office organization. I love these desk pads for $8. Are we kidding? This is great. And this light, which is called the Heart, $19. I think it's pretty elevated. LED light has that sort of mid-century modern vibe. I like the combo. As much as I talk about things that I do like, I'm also gonna point out one or two things that I don't like. And that is any type of media cabinet. I think this screams Ikea and I just don't like them. I would rather you get a chest that is antique, 
but this is too modular, too DIY. Hello, she's a cutie. The Burvik, $52. I think I talked about this last time, but it's still a favorite of mine. I love this sort of mint color. It's very on trend. And I like how versatile this is. You could take it outside, inside. It's a great versatile piece. Why do I love lighting so much? Why doesn't this turn on? This is really cute. It looks like a lantern and you just turn it on. Hopefully it works. Super cute. Look at the color, the base. This is a winner. Why am I pointing out a drying rack? Well, because it's sturdy and I would never sway you guys wrong. I always feel like the ones that I buy from Amazon like fall apart. This is really sturdy and compact because nobody has space for this. So I always dry all of my lingerie or, um, you know, delicates. In fact, I dry all my clothes on a drying rack. So this is a great item. And for $12, you cannot go wrong. Don't forget the lac shelves. You guys know these. And I swear to you, these look like a million dollars when they're installed, when they're floating. If you need a little shelf in your office or to put decorative objets, this is it. Especially this new natural color. Is it new? I like it. So this is new at Ikea. It's called the Nacnus, Nacnus, $75. And the reason I'm bringing it to your attention is that I've seen people talk about this chair and I wanted to give you my honest opinion. I would have liked it had it not had these giant bolts right here. I think that ruins the entire chair, I'm sorry to say. So in terms of it being, yeah, it's a little flimsy too. So not approved. The Manholt. I like these a lot. I am shocked because the colors are cute. Let's say you have an office space with a kitchenette and you want to add these or even in your kitchen. These are adorbs and uh, they look expensive. They look designer and you know, they're not heavy, heavy, but they don't feel cheap at all. Probably easy to maneuver. This is a win. Okay, the Smata is a fabulous cutting board. Look how big this is. I like to use these, uh, first of all, $34.99, not the cheapest, but I know wood is expensive and this looks like solid wood. I love to use these as a serving display tray and put three or four cheeses, grapes, olives, charcuterie. So I think this is a must. I like these salt and pepper grinders. I think they're wonderful and they're glass. They're heavy and they're $12.99 for both. I really think they're great. I love the organization items because they really are value um, propositions and you don't feel guilty about buying all of these containers that really serve no purpose other than organizing your life. Um, and you can get them and make things look good. I mean, I have these all over my home, well, in my spice, in my kitchen, and I put all my spices in here and I love them. How cute. So, Ihardig, Ihardig are great. The Bastiga candle set is heavy. It looks expensive. You never know online what you're gonna get. And I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a cute little trio, this is the way to go, $27.99. Guys, the Enhet 24 by 12 by 30. Normally I wouldn't stop by and even look at this, but I think this is very utilitarian. I would say for a garage, to be honest, or a workspace. This is new. They feel so-so. In case you were interested in these, I would not put anything too, too heavy. I don't think they're industrial strength, but you know, they serve that purpose, which is to store a few lighter items and keep things organized. Unfortunately, I am very much dismayed by the desk selection at Ikea. I do not approve of a single one, and I don't understand why, because it's not that difficult to design a desk. It's literally a flat top and four legs, and they all fall flat. In fact, I'd like to make a suggestion to Ikea, if Ikea is listening, which most likely they're not. But if they were, Ikea, I would like to design a desk. On the other hand, when it comes to desk chairs and stools, they've got, they've got it, they've got it going on. This is adorbs. I mean, I don't know how comfortable it is, but for a moment, well, actually I take it back. Oh my God, I can lift this with my one finger, you guys. What? Okay, I take it back. It looks good, but it's just too... I usually don't like patterns, but this stood out. It's soft. It feels like cotton. The Cardun Nord 
and cool soft against your skin, woven from the finest yarn made of cotton. If you guys are looking for sheets and you want a little bit of fun colors for spring, I do like these very much. Thank you so much for joining me on part one of IKEA Deep Dive. I am sharing with you guys the best of 2023 plus finds that speak to me. Make sure and comment below because I want to know what item you loved or disliked the most at IKEA and if this video was helpful. Now, there is a collaboration that's happened at IKEA and I just saw those items. I am dying because this collaboration is going to be the hottest IKEA collaboration to date and we're going to visit that next week on part two. So make sure and click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss next week's episode because what I have to share with you is mind numbing. I'm not kidding you guys. This is the greatest IKEA collaboration to date. They have stepped it up and I cannot wait to share with this and I cannot wait to share this with you next week on the Red Elevator.